Taurus. Thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is a reading, a love reading for you. I haven't done one of these for a long time. There's all kinds of astrology and video companion forecasts for you over at the website. There'll be links in the description below. The head of your reading is the marriage wreath, victory. the conquering hero queen of swords five of cups knight of pentacles justice high priestess the world at the heart of your reading and the empress Four of Cups, Seven of Cups, woohoo, we don't want that card, that's going to be going up here, Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords, Two of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords, well, let's have a look here. Your overall energy is ahead of the readings that that conquering well you have a few opportunities more than one victory more than one path to choose from Looking at the heart of your reading, we have the uh, world card and the empress. We know that the empress means that there is something birthing into reality. An old cycle. And the new cycle is literally birthing as the old one is ending. You know this intuitively. We have the high priestess. And justice, and I mean, look at the power behind those two cards. Talk about balance, a well-balanced bull. We have grief and sorrow here, regrets that maybe you move too slow or regrets that you can't move as fast as you would like to on this. But it will balance out time and opportunity. Now, what is this disappointment about? Or is it just boredom because you have to slow down your pace? There could be an uh, there could be an uh, some type of event here, Taurus, where uh, you feel like you lost the war, but it was just a battle, or you feel. There may be a grieving period here going over the past and what is left, gathering what is left to salvage. This energy is approachable, uh, calling someone on their BS or seeing through something that is clear but maybe not to others. And it could be you that's bringing this balance. Uh, I'm surprised I'm not seeing the patience card here. You may be a little impatient. But you are going to have to negotiate on a friendlier level. Or do battle. This almost looks like a covert battle. You know, it's, it's like... having to do the lesser of two evils well in order for me to negotiate this is positive negotiations this is achievement with little effort perhaps this is saying be assertive be assertive Taurus but there's some juggling going on here with uh distractions a lot going on a lot of uh, demand for your time 
and there is the seven of swords or the seven of wands like this one so we've got two corners of negotiations and the ability to achieve something so perhaps this is a moment where you're just going to have to put emotions aside and be practical that isn't too hard for you though Taurus you can be one of the most romantic signs there are pain okay I don't think this is everybody hates this card I don't because this means the beginning of healing so healing from the past last dis, past disappointments there's still two cups here that's not spilled if this card is to tell you anything it is there's going to be pain Taurus but the suffering is optional the master Well, I said I was surprised I didn't see the patience card. Maybe it's just annoyed at having to be patient. But you've mastered something here when it comes to taking steps, moving forward. Mastering that ability to look at practicality. There's emotion here, maybe more than one offer in love. Or choosing a path for you and loved one to go down but there is a lot of stability here in just going slow and you know stacking your coins eight of wands lots of communication oh so lots of truth coming out um, the story unfolding to bring balance back to a situation now this proved your intuition correct we have strong pisces energy here an offer of love coming in so what is this turning out to be a negotiation of and there's the victory card on the world guard so is this a closing of old doors a grieving period focusing on your stability and then communications opening up to bring balance back into a situation and this offer of love. So if you're, you know, perhaps arguing with a loved one here, they want to make up with you. Or in ending a relationship, you focus on your work. You're open to these communications coming in, opportunities an offer of love is coming in and this is coming from a very high place this could be a person of prestige but it feels like a person who is connecting with you on a spiritual level an old old soul intuitively here we go lots of intuition a lot of water here in the heart victory that marriage wreath conquering conquering love birthing a new love psychically connected something's tweaking your spiritual nature perhaps that spiritual or inspiration that is happening here is making you feel like can i just get the ball rolling here but there is this time for closure on an issue or a person we have the High Priestess once again. So we've got the Seven of Wands in two corners and the High Priestess in the middle ends. And she is clarifying. Oh, it could be that you're just not seeing the forest for the trees. Spirit is there waiting for you to turn your head and notice the cup that's being offered. Perhaps you're wallowing too much in something to notice. Someone wants to offer you love. So this is interesting. We have the Queen of Swords and Seven of Wands up here. And we have the King of Swords and Seven of Wands here. This communication with this person, now it's really starting to feel like an old soul. Because the king and the queen of swords are perfect communicators. They're like, uh, without allowing emotion 
to cloud the vision. Like best friends would talk. But there, there is some deep emotion here. So this is going to be someone that you have conversations with that really spark your inspiration. Wow, this is fast energy plowing towards you. It's military in might. This is a, this feels very much like all these emotions are in place. Still waters run very deep. But this is no nonsense. Moving forward. It may even seem wishy-washy, but there's... It's... Straight to the business. An offer coming in that's going to bring stability. You're going to be busy, you're going to be successful, and there is an offer coming towards you that is going to very much please you. So maybe it is the same person, since this is a love reading, offering you love and stability. Or the nice balance, the nice balance in their, your communications with this person of emotion and practicality that they can save money as well as you can and the hermit. So you're going to step away from this, these distractions. You're going to step away from them. Do some left brain thinking. You'll be pragmatic. This is something that you have to do on your own. Well, nobody can decide for a Taurus, can they? And it just seems incomplete, Taurus. If you don't mind, I'm sure you don't. I'll take this deck. What's the final message for Taurus? What is the final message for Taurus? This is a soulmate. There's that victory card again. Conflict and the moon. Really strong Pisces energy in this. So if you know a Pisces, they might be having a crush on you or love you. Or they have some some Pisces in their sign. Or it just means that you're starting this new journey with someone. Past or present. Or someone you meet. This conflict... Others trying to talk you out of it, though I'm, I'm not really getting a strong sense of the others talking you out of it. I'm getting more of a sense of they're, they're booting you, pushing you forward. Taurus, make a move. You can have this. This is yours for the taking and all you have to do, that seven of wands says so, without effort to allow that energy to come in. That's a good way to end it. Check out the links in the description below for full tarot and astrology forecasts for the months ahead, the summer forecast, June, etc., etc., and I hope to see you again soon. Please subscribe. Bye-bye for now.